Hello, everybody. It's great to be here. My name is uh, Marina. It's not a great African name. <laughs> I didn't get one. I'm sorry. My sister did. Her name is Naila, which means one who succeeds. <laughs> Marina, that's me, just means a place where you dock boats. <laughs> And you can take that any way you want to. <laughs> My mom just had different plans for me. I actually, I have a boyfriend. I, I have one. I got one because I stopped looking for one. Because when you're looking for a man, you're never going to get one because you have that, that look. <laughs> Like, where is he? <laughs> it's too desperate. You can't be that desperate. I was desperate. You get that desperate, you start looking at losers and thinking, you know what? I can make that work. <laughs> Cockeyed, I don't care. Cause that one eye can see me. <laughs> and I look good in that one eye. <laughs> you get a man when you're not looking for one. That moment of calm when you're not even thinking about it, when you're happy. That's when a man's gonna look at you like, ooh, yeah. How can I destroy her? She's too happy. I can't have all these happy females walking around. I'm taking that one down. That joke is really about my ex. I couldn't stand him. He was the laziest man I ever dated. Unbelievable, just lied there. Actually broke my futon. Not a hot, sexy story. Just laying there. And it broke. When he jumped up, that was the fastest I ever seen him move. But I made it work. You do that. You stay in relationships, you make it work. Like I remember one time we were watching this winter sport on TV called the luge. I had never seen this before. It's basically a winter sport where you just lie there. <laughs> on ice. Somebody kicks you off and you go. I was like, look, baby, something you could do. <laughs> and I told him, see, you're a loser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like my new guy though. My new guy is young, so I can train him, you know. <laughs> He's a, I am officially a cougar. He's young and white, so I'm not just a cougar, I'm a Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a real predator, yes I am. <laughs> he wants me to meet his mom. That's gonna be a situation. <laughs> Cause he has to tell her two things. He has to tell her I'm older and I'm an African American. That's gonna be, you know. But I, I can't wait to meet her, because I'm going to tell her. I got your baby boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm joking. I met her. I just, I like that joke the way I wrote it. I don't feel like changing it. So. <laughs> I live in Harlem, which I know is making her a little uncomfortable. But Harlem has actually changed. Like, you guys can go. <laughs> There are white people in Harlem. You can tell, because we got like three Starbucks, <laughs> salad. <laughs> white people bring salad. That's nice. The first time I saw a ripe tomato, I was like, ooh. <laughs> they coming. <laughs> If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit oneiota.com. Well, that's the end of the show, GP. 
and we still haven't figured out who sent the anthrax. The cat seemed to have got my tongue. Oh, there. man. I was doing GP in the ferns, the epilogue, but... Yeah, the, I know. The I can't get out of my region's filming ball. There's something wrong here. You're stopping you're wasting that. Look, I got the thing and I got I the gun. I see it. My friggin' arm's broken. <laughs> Pretty cute gun holster, though. Thanks very much. Yeah. You, want, you want to hold it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go, go hold it then. Uh, my friggin' arm doesn't work. Come on. Hey, hey. No, I'm not kidding, man. It doesn't move. Oh, stop moving. No. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, you probably... Uh, oh, it's a real gun, this. Oh, 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 oh better, it's loaded with water. Is that code? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank uh, my guests, uh, Regis Philbin and Marina Franklin. I'd like to thank Jeff for being the most excellent and... Uh, <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> it's freaking me out, you're doing the Regis voice. It's too, it's too accurate. I can't stop. I'm out of control. <laughs> hey, let me look at your eye real quick. Oh, yeah, you got black spots. I got black spots, man. Ooh. What do you think that is, that black spots in his eye? What do you think it is? Oh, I'll tell you off the air. <laughs> no, all right, all right. Just, just whisper it on the air. <laughs> 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 to me, that just sounded like... <laughs> whisper it again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, I'll okay. tell you. I can draw. You know, let's be honest. You don't get a lot of this on television anymore. <laughs> and it's a shame because these cop shows were excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, rich. Yeah. So we're about uh, 24 minutes uh, to go in the show. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's about uh, 10 seconds. Nine. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. We have to uh, thank uh, our guests. No, go ahead. Oh, we did that, didn't we? Four. Well, like... <laughs> no, we're done now. We're good. We can go. I was looking at the clock over there. We're finished. I still think I've got some kind of itchy thing in my nose. Maybe it's to do with the black spots. Or maybe it's the anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>